Berlin, Germany's capital, is a city packed with history. Contemporary buildings coexist with the city's dark past, creating a unique atmosphere of vibrant culture, cutting-edge architecture, fabulous food, and intense nightlife. Berlin is also known as one of the cheapest capital cities in Western Europe. However, just like other European cities, the prices have been rising gradually over the past few years, especially the rent. In this video, I recorded everything that I bought in Berlin for a day, so I'm gonna share how much it cost me. Let's get started! Hey, good morning! I'm gonna get to breakfast now. Let's go! I found this bakery and decided to have breakfast here. German bread is unlike any other bread in Europe. It's dark, chewy, and dense, composed mainly of whole grains such as rye, spelt, and millet. Rye is more nutritious than wheat and grows in colder climates, lending itself to be heavily cultivated in the north. Okay, now I'm going to see the Berlin Wall because I've been staying in Berlin for a month and I haven't seen it yet. The Berlin Wall is a guarded, concrete wall between West Berlin, the sector controlled by the Western Allies, and East Berlin, the Soviet sector. It was constructed by East Germany in 1961 with the purpose of keeping Western fascists from entering East Germany and threatening a socialist state. The Berlin Wall closed off the population flow between East Germany and West Germany, but finally was demolished in 1989 as Cold War tensions diminished across the globe. All across Berlin today, you can find traces of the wall, its remains, and its memorial site. The East Side Gallery is the longest surviving section of the Berlin Wall. I got a little thirsty after walking along 1.3 kilometers of the wall, so I bought a water bottle at the nearby supermarket. There's a hamburger shop that I've always wanted to try around here, so I'm going there for lunch. It's apparently the most popular hamburger shop in Berlin, so let's see how good it is. Burgermeister in the Kreuzberg area has been around since 2006. Situated in the old city's public toilet, it offers tasty burgers at a very affordable price and in a very unique atmosphere. This place is always crowded, but the meal experience is worth the wait. If we just order a normal hamburger, it costs only 490 euros. I think it's quite cheap even for Berlin. I was gonna get just only this burger without any topping, but the staff recommended me a lot of toppings, fries, and drinks, even though I just got water, so it ended up costing me almost 12 euros, but it's fine. After lunch, I moved to Alexanderplatz, which is one of the busiest squares in all of Berlin. It's a transportation hub with many shops, cinemas, restaurants, and attractions within walking distance. When you're here, you cannot miss the Berlin TV Tower with its iconic silver sphere set up on a slim concrete column, topped with a red and white antenna. It's an iconic landmark in the city, and it's considered to be one of the tallest structures in Europe. Behind the Berlin TV Tower is St. Mary's Church. It's one of the oldest churches in Berlin, dating back to the late 13th century. The church was originally a Roman Catholic church, but has been a Lutheran Protestant church since the Protestant Reformation. I need to get some necessities.
Berlin City Hall at Alexander Platz in Mitte is one of the city's most famous sites. Its nickname, Rotz Rathaus, comes from the red bricks it was built from. Following the city's partition, the Rotz Rathaus used to serve as a town hall for East Berlin. In 1991, the Rotz Rathaus again became the home of the United States government, and the mayor of Berlin also has his offices here. Next to the impressive city hall lies the unique and picturesque Nikolai Quarter. Although this district is the oldest residential area in Berlin, it was rebuilt in its current form after its destruction in World War II. At the heart of the quarter sits St. Nicholas's Church with its striking double spire. I needed to do some laptop work, so I went to a cafe called St. Albert Holtz. Berlin has a strong freelancer culture and is full of co working spaces and work friendly coffee shops. St. Albert Holtz is one of the oldest working cafes in Berlin. This place not only offers good coffee and snacks, but also Wi Fi and outlets for those who enjoy working on their laptops in a lovely and motivating atmosphere. While it's a calm and comfy place in the daytime, the atmosphere spices up a little in the evening with a DJ playing techno music. After spending a couple of hours at the cafe, I walked around a little and found this affordable Vietnamese restaurant close by. Today is Saturday, and in Germany, uh, all supermarkets are closed on Sunday, so I have to get some food for tomorrow. Okay, I got all I need for tomorrow, so let's go back home. I live in a flat in Berlin now, so it's a little hard to tell how much an accommodation fee for one night is, so let's refer to the price of the hostel I stayed in before. When I came to Berlin in August, I was staying in a hostel called 180 Degrees Hostel Berlin for the first few nights, and it cost me 31 euros per night. Hey guys, this is how much I spent for a day in Berlin, Germany. What do you think about this budget? I think it's quite affordable for a capital city in Western Europe. Also, if you follow my Instagram, you might already know, but I officially moved to Berlin. I will still keep traveling other countries, but when I don't, I'm probably gonna be exploring in Berlin, so please let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations for this city. And if you wanna see more travel videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.